Hi everyone, welcome back to Keeping Up with the Chaldeans. I'm here with my co-host Junior Binnu. Uh, we have Christina Yono from Christina's Consignments here today. She's unbelievably excited for t to share some information with you guys. Uh, today's episode is uh, made possible by the generosity of our friend Wilson Sarkis. He has been uh, a great help. He's uh, He's uh, come along and, and uh, you know mentored uh, our guys here behind the cameras um, and help us uh, set up uh, the Zhao June event and, and uh, the opioid panel coming up. I want to thank him for, uh, for being there for us and, and to bring a better quality uh, show to you guys. So Christina, how are you? I'm great, how are you guys? Very good. good. What's we, up? We've What's heard up? throughout the uh, week that you've been a little nervous about little coming bit. on the show. A little bit. It's no, the lights. Yeah, no lights. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's okay. Lights, camera, yeah. action. It's just the lights or this yeah. beautiful rug that we uh, have. Been so doing. let's let's just start off by introducing your. You introduce yourself. Talk a little bit about pre Christina's consignments. Okay. So pre Christina's consignments, I was a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I taught kindergarten for six years until I had my third child. Wow. I have three sons. Um, and then I stopped and stayed home with my kids. Mm -hmm. um, I always did a little something. I made necklaces. Like I was always still figuring out ways to do Staying a little work busy. on the side. Yeah, good for you. And so um, when my kids were old enough to go to school, I was always helping out in school. I, you know, volunteered all the time that they would finally. They're like, can you just, can you sub? You're always here. Can you help? <laughs> we like, we need you. So I started. We want to pay you. <laughs> yeah. I was always there, so I'm like, okay, I guess, you know, that would be fun. So I started subbing at St. Regis, probably. And what grades did you teach before? You I, just, I taught subbing? kindergarten. Yeah, just kindergarten. Yeah, kindergarten, just kindergarten that's then, it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, actually, in a really, it was in an all kindergarten building, so it was like 20 kindergarten classrooms in one building. It was a special wow. school. Gosh, it was really that cool. had to have been wild. It was really yeah. cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was like a special school. It was cool, um, which is actually closed now, but. So that was then, in my kindergarten days. Mm -hmm. But, um, so then I started subbing at St. Regis, all grades. Yep. And then as my kids got older, I kind of preferred the older grades a little yeah. more than the younger, even though I, the younger grades are so fun. Mm -hmm. um, the day was a little different. So my kids would need stuff, and when there was breaks in the day, I could always run out, yeah. and it was just different. So um, I subbed at that, and then when they went to high school, I also started subbing there. So I substitute now at... St. Regis and Brother Rice still All right. while I also do this. So, so fun. And Isn't I that kind of cool? You have kids in both? I do. I have kids at both. I yep. have one in eighth grade at St. Regis and then two at Brother Rice. Next year, they'll all be that's, at Brother Rice. That's wow. got to be cool. Like, you know what you're saying? Your kids can point out to their other buddies and nudge. That's my mom. Yeah, yeah. 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 and saying, they all know me. All the kids yeah. know me. Just that's coming from St. Regis to yep. Brother Rice, it's like, you know, it's just such an, it was an easy transition from right. one to the other. Yep. Um, Plus, you, you're so involved fun. with the Chaldean community, yeah. you know, quite yeah. often too. So you're within a lot of the mom yeah. groups and yeah. stuff. It's, it's kind of cool, though. You mm -hmm. get to see those parents' kids and yeah. go, "Wow, oh, look it. how they are at yeah. school!" And then I get to see them yeah. over at where their houses or it's wherever. It's the best. It yeah. really is. I'm yeah. very lucky to be able to be involved. Yep. Even in the background, even if I don't see my kids, like Good for I you. see, it's just being in the mix, you being have around. To. It's just nice to be. Listen, you it's know, a dangerous world. We're yeah, living in more yeah. dangerous than what we grew it's, up with, right? Yeah, you know? it's really. I'm very lucky. Yep, yep it's good. You're, you're, yeah. you know, you're an additional eye also to the other parents, it, you know, yeah. too. It's just so. nice. Good for you. So it you is. were, you were teaching and you were making necklaces, and mm -hmm. then you, mm -hmm. so somehow, some way, you, you. I remember when you started yeah. Christina's consignments. Well, even before that, I kind of on the side, like there's these mom like selling groups on Facebook, mm -hmm. and so you have like your one or two things that you might have at home. You try to sell it on eBay or in these local mom groups, and so I started selling a few of my own items mm -hmm. locally, um, and then you know some of my friends were like, "Oh, can you sell mine? Can you sell mine?" Mm. So um, I was, you know, I said, "Okay, yeah, I can sell yours." So then I started selling. You know, this person and then this person heard. Can you sell mine? So then Perfect. I ended up with all this stuff at my house. Yeah. You know, bags of people's things yep. and yep. bins of people's things. Right. And my my family was like, okay, like it's kind of like taking over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we kind of had to. Mom, where so are my shoes? Years later, <laughs> they're like, why, when are you going to move out of these people? And I was trying to, you know, you don't even have enough room at your house for your own things, let alone all these other people's right, things. Sure. So 
Um, a couple years after that, I kind of said, okay, I need like a little space. Like I need to be able to take this, you know, it's from our upstairs to the basement to, I ended up finding a little spot on um, Maple and Inkster. Okay. Um, in Knollwood Office Park. Nice. So it's kind of like a little showroom in. Um, it used to be Little Caesars in there, and now it's like Tormino's or close, something. Close, right next to it. So in that Little Caesars, like little right strip, in the strip, in that next strip. to it. Oh, there is no yeah, there's office little, park. Yep. There's like oh, a you're dentist. In the park. Yeah. D d directly yeah. across oh, where the oh, cop oh. always hides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He always hides yes. directly across yes. from there. So yeah. right. don't go over 35 over you're there. Right. Oh. So um, I'm in there. Yep. Um, so it's kind of nice. It's private. It's. You know, as much as I would like love, let's say, to have like a storefront, it's also nice to be like a private. Like, sure. It's just, it's nice. Well, you have more of a direct approach with this. It seems like, um, you know, this kind of business, you're giving the flexibility of convenience to the mm -hmm. to, to the people that are bringing the products. So obviously, you know, many can use some of the platforms that are out there, right, yeah. to do this. Right. But it's just, it's that much more solid when I can hand it to an individual, mm -hmm. knowing things can get done here locally, mm -hmm. you know, and can be taken care of locally and promoted, right? Yes. So you're not, you're not in this platform that's flooded with all these other handbags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your Christina consignments with special, unique, particular ones. And also sometimes it seems like you being an individual like this can source things if, if you really had to versus, you know, the consumer, which, which is good. So your, your personal touch in your business is a lot better sometimes than looking at if you had that front face exposure. You're right. You know what I'm saying? I agree. It's, it's what it is. It's a personal touch. They're coming in with a trusted vision. Like I'm coming, giving somebody something mm -hmm. of great value for them to, you know, do mm -hmm. the best to get the, you know, mm -hmm. the product sold. So, mm -hmm. have you find, have you found, so our community being Chaldean community, mm -hmm. it's like you found a perfect solution for a lot of people's problems. Sure. Yeah. They, they a lot need bags, a lot need to get rid of bags, yeah. a lot get tired of their bags, mm -hmm. uh, their shoes. Mm -hmm. So, so run through like the gamut of 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 products that you okay service. Um. So I kind of started. Like I said, how I started out of my house, the main thing I used to sell the most was Lululemon. That's how I started. Okay. Pre-owned Lululemon. Like, really? people bought it like crazy. Clothing? Clothing. Or, yeah. Lululemon. Really? Well, because they have handbags Pre and other things, too. Yeah. Like, but, they got yeah. those, Kate, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. 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 So, um, that was the first thing that I started selling the most of, but, n and then it kind of changed over to adding purses, you know, bags and shoes and coats. And at first I did, I took like everything, mm -hmm. everyday clothes. Like I, you know, I kind of was taking it all. And now, you know, years later, you tightened it up, stepping back and looking to see like, what really should I be focusing on? What's the mm -hmm. best, you yep. know, what has the best resale value? What's, sure. you know, worth my time? to spend because it takes a lot of time of it's a yeah. lot you know yep. so starting with lululemon now five years later i actually think i might be phasing out of that eventually so mm -hmm. my shop has tons of lululemon right now handbags shoes designer coats and eventually i think i'm probably just going to focus on bags and some sh and, and you know the shoes it just depends like i'm still kind of figuring it out but I will be phasing out of the clothes because, unfortunately, they just don't have a great resale, resale value anymore. Yeah. The resale market is the, just so ticket, flooded with I mean, it. That I mean, you got to sell 15 pairs of, of, of yes, workout pants for right. one purse. And to take a picture of each one and post each one yeah. and respond to it's somebody It's the same work as it is with a bag. It's just a lot of time that I just... What's wild yeah. that throws me off by her telling me that is, I mean, we're huge donators. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, yeah. it, like, I'm surprised that we're like taking that because it's they're expensive sure you, and yeah, yeah. These their sweatpants they, are 100 yeah. you know what yeah. i'm saying like yeah. they're 100 bucks yeah. so even if you get 20 30 but bucks, i used to be able to get 50 or 60 for a pair of leggings so, so it was 50, worth it yeah. it was worth it now if you go on ebay you Saturation. can get it for 20 yeah, yeah. It, the market's flooded with it that yep. the resale value is not the same as it yep. was before so. and the name itself lululemon had a bigger buzz about you know it's still popular it is popular it, but i'm but saying yeah. the, the level because now there's there, competition there's yes yep there, yes. there's others that are branded to compete yes. against them yeah. so others mm -hmm. are jumping ship to other yep. things absolutely so, which helps you diversify mm -hmm. so when you're talking about um like shoes mm -hmm. you know i don't know if you've ever seen the past or no but i think we've i've, I've touched on this with your boys but mm -hmm. um do, are you doing men's shoes too or is it strictly i do you i do, do men's shoes i do men's shoes i do women's shoes and i will say you know, there's those shoes that we're talking about, like the the specialty, yep. you know, Yeezys and yep. all that. Those I will those are good sellers. Sure. People want those. They don't mm -hmm. know where to get them if they don't get them when they drop or mm -hmm. if they don't know how to get them right away. 
when they're selling. Um, mm -hmm. They're scared to get them on eBay or they're scared. So they like to deal with someone local that they know that they're getting an authentic product. Nice. Or So those, you know, are good sellers. Mm -hmm. Everyday shoes are hard. Shoes are hard. Sure. You have to get the right person that wants right that size. shoe. That's Multiple that sizes. Size. Yeah. You know, that wants to pre It's hard. So shoes are good, but you have to price them low. Otherwise, you know, someone, you know, paid $1,000 for this pair of shoes and they want six fifty for it. Mm -hmm. It's just not yeah, realistic, yeah. Yeah. and that shoe is going to sit there forever. So you really need to price it low, and it will sure. sell. And so, so you people help have to people. Understand you, that. you help people with pricing, and, I do. and you let yeah. everyone know, like, where what range they can expect and yes. where yeah. where it should land. Yeah. She's got a if it's going to sit there or not sit there. Exactly. Yeah. She's got to probably treat like the stock market in her head. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She's got to go with the adjusted prices right. on a daily because. Yeah. These are trendy, you know, products are trendy, which which yeah. seems like your purses from your Chanel's other things stay more at a moderate consistency, but like yeah. your shoes and jewelry and other things seem to fluctuate often. I do want to um, talk about um, how you do offer your um, buyer seller privacy. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing when they come into you, they can feel confident that if they are bringing this or other things, you know, there's no worry about, oh, when somebody comes to buy it, it's like, oh, it's so-and-so's yeah. purse that, you know, right. and, and so forth. So right. that that's big because, especially when you think about a community like ours, yeah. we try to kind of stay well, a little bit know. more low key when it comes to these personal yes. things. We are loud in others, but you know what I'm saying? But right. when it comes to personal situations, yeah. so that is big. And um, that goes to show that you have integrity with your with your work, that you're, you're willing to have people put trust in you, so. I do, I yeah. really respect that. As, you know, so someone bringing me something, you know, I have a system of how I label everyone's items in a way that it's private. Sure. So if someone comes in my shop to sell something or to buy something, you know, I never reveal who's the item that is. Good. Um, if someone is, was at my shop shopping that day, I don't go and say, oh, guess who came in today? You know, it's not yeah. my place. It's everyone's business to do, you know, if they want to sell their bag or if they want to buy a bag and they want to share it, that's up to them. Sure. Yep. Um, but it never comes from my mouth. Yep. I respect, Good for you. you know, my buyers and my sellers decision to keep it private or yep. not keep it private. It's up to them. So do they make an appointment with you on both sides of it? To yes. either buy or sell yes. as an appointment? Yes, I'm you. open by appointment. Okay, so there's no I ran into Anthony while we were just there, you know what I'm saying? Right, or, and I do take, um, I do, I'm okay, conscious Anthony of that. Might, you know, like if you were coming in, if you told me I'm coming in this afternoon and you wanted to come in this afternoon, yep. I might try to figure out a time with both of you so that you're not there at the same time unless you care. I might ask the person, you know, I know a couple other people are coming to you want to make sure that no one else is there and sure. they might tell me oh I don't care or they mm -hmm. might say no I want to come in by myself so right. I do ask people that yes good 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 for you mm -hmm. and then when they come to you a big part of what you do is um, you authenticate product yes that is huge and I'd like you tell like you to tell the viewers two things why it's so big and important and really have you faced or and or know how much fraud is out there you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, so I do, I use a system called Entropy, mm -hmm. and if you see this little machine, yeah, it's kind of like a little iPod, sure. and it has a, a camera on it that magnifies, like, times, I don't even know how many, like, mm -hmm. you can see, so when I, authentic I'm able to authenticate a bag on the spot, and it takes about 15 minutes mm -hmm. um, after I do it for them, for us to get, like, a result, sometimes mm -hmm. faster, sometimes a day, like, if they need it, but usually it's pretty quick. So I, it'll prompt me to do um, different things. Like it wants a picture of the bag and then it makes me take a picture of the outer canvas, like three different pictures, then the inner, sure. then every letter, then enter the serial number, the date wow. code, um, the hardware. And so after I enter all of that, all of that information has to comply with so many different algorithms and it has yep. to match. And one thing could be off. Like I've authenticated a bag that was missing part of the date code mm -hmm. or that didn't even have the date code was rubbed off. But if everything else complied, it comes back authentic. Okay. I have had a few bags come back as unidentifiable. So do what do you do? Um, so in that case, I tell the, you know I, the person brought me that bag thinking it was authentic. Yeah, of course, yeah. Thinking yeah, you know they weren't trying to get over on me. They, they were thought no, they were got over no. on them. They, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> in that case, I will tell the person. Um, I just want you to know that I did authenticate your bag and it did come back as unidentifiable. So I'm not going to be able to sell your bag for you. Um, and they will say like, oh my gosh, really? Like I got it from a friend. Um, you know, I thought it was authentic or I got it from sure. 
an online platform, mm -hmm. you know, and they claimed it was authentic. Yeah. So some people are just unaware that yep. maybe where they purchased their bag, of course, it wasn't authentic. So I'm able to stop from, now I'm not going to be able to Being sell your bag. Right. I'm sorry. Sure. So <clears throat> question for you in regards to the authentication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's other companies. One of them is now based in, in um, Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, they're, 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 a, they're a large uh, uh company that does authentication mm -hmm. primarily started with shoes first now mm -hmm. they're branching off to other things but they they have um the ability to almost have it like say authentic authentic authenticated with certification yes so this program that you have yeah so i'm able to provide you. them with a certificate okay. so here's a certificate yep. and, a certificate of authenticity and why is that important it's nice for the you know this the buyer to leave with this like and this company stands by all of their Perfect. verifications so yep. if for some reason you know they took it in the future and it came back that it was not authentic which i mean they have like a point something percent yep. they will pay for your bag so they stand by their That's decision great. of saying that this bag is authentic so how do i as a, as a and i'm not saying you mm -hmm. but how am i as a as a consumer mm -hmm. able to verify or authenticate that document you just showed us well you can i guess you could you go online and go put the in the you go online and put in the code or what because so, this is just a piece of paper to me makes sense so if i basically said that came from christina's and wanted to just so say, you, you go can in go on yeah you can go you right go to the here link and you put in the yep. authentication yep. id and then it'll it'll, yep. it'll it says entropy provides a, a guarantee for this certificate visit this for any more that's information badass. So See? maybe maybe you could start a business of just authenticating yes, that's bags right. and handing out certificates. Right. Well, well, well there could I be could. a few. No, there I could. could. Listen, that's I an, could. that's we, an we, idea we, for you. That's all. I would I love to see that because mm -hmm. two years ago when when we were talking about opening up a little sports shop, like not like to have like resell shoes, like yeah. you know, because mm -hmm. we were big in the shoe game, and the number one thing was. Who's going to authenticate who walks exactly. into your doors? No, Because you have true. like, for example, you have No Joe Kicks yeah. down in Detroit. Right. No Joe Kicks were, besides Burn Rubber, were one of the first to hit Detroit as the new phase of coming up. But they authenticate it, and they're mm -hmm. the ones who resell shoes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they're like your flight clubs and mm -hmm. all that stuff yep. out there. But it's so important yeah. because so, yeah. no, so for totally people that buy a that. bag, yeah. People that buy a bag can yep. come to you for and authentication. Just to have that certificate in their possession if they bought it pre-owned yep. off of eBay, yeah. and they want to make sure that that bag is authentic right. for their own yep. future. Like I want to sell yeah. this in the future, or maybe so, so they don't come in or they, they're going to come to the into product. your shop. They don't come into your shop and with a with a with a fake bag on accident. Exactly, exactly. And that's huge because that's the pedigree to your. And if they want to sell it one day on yeah. their own, some people maybe they like to sell things on their own, yeah. and they want. They want to provide their their buyer with a sure. certificate. They can come to me. I can authenticate mm -hmm. their bag. So I this, you know, this service has authenticating events. Like if I wanted to, they do like I can have like a party and authenticate bags. Oh, that'd be sweet. So like, this is yeah. something that could be done. Yeah, do it. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, sure. we encourage you to do that because yeah. it's it's not always easy just to send a product over to eBay, let them authenticate oh, it. Then know. from there, they got to authenticate it and mm -hmm. then shoot it out to the. Oh yeah, it's hard. You're, you're to sell talking a, a seven day it. process. Yeah. Where 100%. yours, how fast does this turn around? Like, if you authenticate this bag, how fast is a certificate printed up? Less than 15 minutes. So you're you're getting them to send you this? I can email you the certificate within... Kick ass. If this authenticates in five minutes, like yeah. it was one of those quick ones that just, like, went... Yes. Because, like, like, right now... I, I can, Right now, I can send it to you. I'm saying right now, I have a pair of shoes mm -hmm. out of... Out of Two, three hundred pairs that I've had. I have a pair of shoes that I don't know if it's fully authentic. I bought it in Chicago yep. at an event. It was some Jordans. They were the Gammas. And I was like, man. And he sold them to me at this price. It was only X amount over. And I'm like, man. You got me. No, no, I'm just cause, because, <laughs> listen, when you go to these events, yeah. there is no authentication at these events right, either. Right. There could still be somebody within there that could sell you fake you're, shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? And when you're there, you're not looking determined enough to see if the 23 is matching for Jordan and yeah. all that right. stuff. So I wouldn't mind. Are you so able to authenticate shoes not, yet? Yeah, no. not okay. shoes. Okay. Like, it'll tell, like, I'm able to authenticate most bag, most of the designer bag jewelry at all yeah no okay. mm -hmm. this service is strictly like chanel we have a 10 dior goyard gucci okay. hermes like i mean there's like yeah top 25, name brands yeah brands so to all our viewers out there look forward to uh christina doing her yeah. uh yeah. authentication party yeah, yeah. christina gonna, yeah. Simon's yeah. Authentication, yeah. authentication party yeah. we better just, be just invited too yes. yeah yes. you guys yes. are invited yeah. him too him too mark you yeah, gotta be with us yes mark's invited we're gonna have a cameraman with us
<laughs> yes. You're invited to Very everything. cool. Yes. So, so what's the what's the most expensive bag or item you've ever sold? I sold a watch that was fifteen thousand dollars. Ooh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Cash money? Did they come with cash money? Um, they did pay with cash. And then I did give them cash. Yeah. Yay. Um, and then I have a bag for sale. I want to say it's like twelve thousand. Birkin. 13, yeah, it's thirteen thousand dollars. Uh -huh. Color. That's a black. Ooh, we're gonna find them. No, it's see them at North End Market. No, that's a good one. <laughs> What's the price that? That one is twelve thousand nine ninety five. Well, have you gotten any offers on it yet? I have. I've had like some ten thousand off dollar offers and eleven and the. Seller does not want to sell. So throw a fifteen thousand dollar offer on it, and we'll get you the bag. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's yes. Yeah. So um, either like a Ferrari goes over over for a, yeah. a, a ask. And that's <laughs> one of the bags. Like some sellers are like okay with offers, and they they want to consider them. But this person's like, if I get this price, I'll sell it. If not, I I'm happy keeping it and enjoying right. it. Right. Of course. So yeah. some bags people are like, you know, I what I don't you know whatever you can get, great. Some people, you know, they they or hoping for a certain price if not they want to keep it or close right. to it so what well, most bags people will give me and say I don't use this can you how much do you think you know that's mm -hmm. the main when people text me like I have this bag yeah you know and my my first thing is or I have some bags can you know send me pics so then I look sure. them up and so posting a bag for me takes a lot I don't just put a picture up. Like, mm -hmm. it's a process. Yep. I, I do a lot. I research. I look up, you know, what did the bag retail? Um, I look on different platforms to see how much is it reselling for. And so then I kind of go back to them and I say, okay, well, this is what it's reselling for. And they might be like, oh, my gosh, great, or wow, yeah. oh, my yeah. gosh, that's it. Like, yeah. some bags have an amazing resale value. I, I've done it. Don't. I've sent you stuff, yeah. and you're like, yeah, 250 I'm and, like, oh, my like, God, what? 250 what? This yeah, thing yeah. was, you know, $1,500. Yeah, but it is what it is. It is what it some is. Some have a great resale value. Some, have, some do, do not. not have a good right. resale value. And it's it's unfortunate, but it, it is what it is. And yeah. so some people are like, okay, fine, sell it. Or they'll be like, I, I, I'd rather give it. Like, some people right. would rather give it away. Right, right. Yeah, but sure. most people will sell it because it, it, it adds up. Yeah, it yeah. Just Everything adds up. Adds up. And, adds up. and what's it doing in your closet? Nothing. Right. Nothing. It's just sitting there. And You've so, sold a bag for me. Somebody, that was, yeah, it that was did. a big it was bonus. Fun. I got $500 yeah. stuck in my pocket at a party. <laughs> One day yeah. you didn't have. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it adds up. So yeah. do us a favor and the viewers. Walk us through the process. Okay. Okay, so I um get in touch with you how, and then from there, where do we go? Okay. So most people will um, text me or Instagram message me or Facebook message me. Sure. Um, I, I have some bags I'd like to sell or I have this item I would like to sell. And so then I will tell them, okay, you know, I do sell that. Some clothes I will say no to now. Like I, I have been saying no to things mm -hmm. um, that I just now I'm kind of... You just don't have the time. Yeah. So you're direction. vetting the product when they call you. Yeah. So uh, and I... You know, if they, if, I'm like, you can either bring them to me and I can look at them, or you can send me pictures. Um, and they will send me some pictures. I'll look them up, and I'll get all the information. Like I said, how much did it retail? How much is it reselling for? And I mm -hmm. tell them. And then I kind of, like, every every item is different. Like, it just depends. Sure. And so I kind of look at it, and I say, this is how much it's selling. This is how much I think we can sell it for. Mm -hmm. And this is how much you would get. Right. And then we can go from there, and they might say, "Oh my gosh, great!" Um, and usually they're good with it because it's realistic. And I and I'm and I'm very realistic with the people. I'd yeah. love to sell your bag for the most we can sell it for, right. and I will. Like I try to get you the most we can get for your item. We both win. Compared to exactly, You're you know, both they win. are selling and making money. Yep, for both your best interest, yeah. which is yeah. huge. And so I try to be comparative, compare like with the online platforms mm -hmm. and local. Like I try, you know, so mm -hmm. people want to work with me. Mm -hmm. So I really do. Um, try to get you the most you can get for your item sure. realistically in the market. You know, it's we can't price something three hundred dollars higher and they can go online and find that same item for five hundred dollars right. yep. lower pre owned, same condition, it doesn't make sense. Sure. So and I do tell them that I'm like, you know, it's does it just I understand that you paid this much and you would like this much, mm -hmm. but it's just not what you know they're all selling for this much. So we have to be you know, yep. comparative I, I think, with that. I think you've you've earned enough credibility and they do that respect people it. respect it they yeah. do yeah. you know when you know what they can choose to go ahead with it or they can choose to yeah, keep yeah. it you're yeah. not new either yeah right. so they yeah. do usually respect what i have to say and they tell me they say like you know whatever you think yeah. and so yeah, and, and just people a thought, trust you just yeah. a thought into what why you're on that point as we we go into getting this whole process 
Um, so campless was a was a um, campless.org was a um, web page that would have the algorithm to go through every single site across the um, world to see what shoes are being sold to get the variants on that. Mm -hmm. You ever thought of reaching out to any of our Chaldean, fellow Chaldeans that, that make programs, apps, any of that? Building an algorithm program so where you just fire off this and then it just gives you the whole average of what you're looking I mean, at. I that would be amazing. Yeah, because <laughs> it's there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's a lot of time for me to look That's up. That's what it'll take And out. sometimes yep. so many people are messaging me and everyone wants a response and it takes time. Sure. It takes me time to look everything up yep. to get the price for you. And messaging all these people, it takes time. And so... Do you have that process documented? Like the, the process, do you, do you document the process? This so. So I get a text that this is what I do, then I do this, then I look at this, then I go to this site, then I go to these sites, and I just do this search, and I do this. To that explain way, to people? Like, no, no. That way you take that document yeah. and you hire some grunts. You you, you give know. it to somebody. Yeah. You give it to somebody to say, I need you to look this up, throw mm -hmm. me back, and then you'll be able to trust with that individual. You'll pay them I a little bit. I have to like, let myself let go a lot. No, I, I, mean, like to be, but no, I like to be... No, yes, but, but so you have enough experience and knowledge now to know when the but price what comes she's back. Saying, that's not okay. what she's saying. Like yeah. every typical Chaldean, we like to micro I like to do it myself. I, well, I'm saying we like to micro macro manage what I'm saying. I get it, but that's typically like Chaldean. Yeah. I want to make sure they're looking up the right item, yeah. getting the we, right price. Well, like, you'll know. Yeah. You'll know. You, or you, this is this is the information I need back. This is where yeah. I, need, I need you to I need you to send me the, 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 the search results. And then yes. once you build enough trust, in that individual, then you just let them go on their own. I need to. I, it's hard to let go. That. It is so hard. first and step I do is need to, to document the process. Yeah. Document yeah. it, yeah. and then give it to someone yeah. to that, that maybe a stay-at-home mom. No, it's true. That can that can figure it out true. for you. Give them that extra. One hundred percent. Everything you're saying needs to be done because yep. I'm only one person, right, and right, I yeah. do this all by myself. Yep. Right. And so I do tell people that I'm like, it's just me, so you need to give me. But I try. No, but I think it's time. I do try to like get back to people as quick as I can. And some people will message me again, and I'm like, oh my, and, and I and I do, I really do try to be as quick as no, I can. Yeah, you're doing a wonderful job. That's why. You're, that's why you're the best I, in the business. Like you said, no, that would be so helpful. Sure. And if I could find somebody that would be able to. They kind can. Of follow. Yeah, as long as you document it. You're a teacher. You right. understand. If you yeah. teach somebody the right way, yeah. 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 then the, yeah. the results and, will be. The and results what you good. said was on was on point. Um, was people are looking to be stay at home yeah. job. Because it helps somebody out. Yeah, Boost yeah. The because they don't make Trump problem. look a little better. Yeah. Yep. And another it's job. Something somebody Create can another do. Job for Trump. Like on their like, this is amazing for me because it's something that I can do while I'm also doing everything for my kids. So it is something that somebody can do while they're waiting for their son at hockey practice, or right. while they're waiting for you know you can look stuff up because I'm always do I'm always multitasking when yep. my sons are doing this or I'm waiting for yeah. them I'm doing this while they're doing their homework sometimes and I finished everything else I need to do I'm like okay I'm gonna work while you do your work and I'm doing my work so it's something that you can do yeah while you're still able to do everything else you need to do for your family like and don't have to be inside me. and they don't have to be also if anyone helps out they don't have to be inside your 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 office space or your workspace yeah, working. They can they, do it on their own. Yep. Exactly. Everything's but so with your experience now, you said you've been doing this for over five years. Mm -hmm. So with your experience now, so people can send you bags that you don't even have to do any research over. Then I know you, right you away. You know right away. I know right away. This yeah. is how much we, this is how much it sells for. This is how much I would post it for. This is how much you would get. And yep. right away they'll be like, can you post it? Yeah. So then, you know, I take pictures and, you know, get all the information. So it's not just a quick photo, so that's why it's all a process. Yeah. It's, it just takes time. You, so all of it just takes time. You are probably the biggest topic in every party event when it comes to the women. Christy, you, you've got to always have at least one woman buzz in your ear. Hey, Chris, oh, for I, sure. I got a bag. Can for I come sure. see you? Right yeah. when they see or, me, oh my gosh, I have to come see yep. you. It's yeah. so yep. fun. It's fun. Yeah. And yeah, I love yeah, it. Because sure. yes. everyone benefits. Yes. Well, you that's, why you, that's why you grew so big so fast, because you have a passion for it. You it's enjoy fun. it. You love it. You, I do. You look at it as fun and not work. Even though it's a lot of work. It is, exactly. A lot, like a said. lot of work. But it's fun. Yep. It is. And people come to my shop, and right when they walk in, it's just really fun. Like, it's really nothing fancy, but it's just a lot of nice stuff. And yeah. so everyone walks in, and they just, it's just fun. You can't they, help they but smile. One. Yeah, the walls don't. Like, oh the my walls gosh, don't, it's so fun The walls are invisible because yeah. of the yeah. bags are yeah. like so up. It's just fun. It's like, oh my gosh, it's fun. It's like it's like a toy shop for women yeah. with bags. And like, I do have a lot of my inventory on hand, but then a lot of it, like some people send me pictures, mm -hmm. and I post from those pictures, 
and then they bring it to me. So some I don't have like on hand, but, these but I are get people it within, you know and trust. I know and know, trust yeah, yeah. exactly. And you've dealt with before. Totally, yes. I know and trust them. And then before I even sell the bag, I still take it and authenticate it and yep. look at it up close and take more. Because I had a bag, someone sent me all these pictures and I sold the bag. And when they went and brought it to me, there was some flaws. Mm. So I'm like, okay, yeah. just so you know, yeah. you didn't send me like the side of the bag. And so now right. we need to lower the price because yeah. I priced it according to the condition. And you're blacklisted, by condition. the way. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But that customer was Get so out. nice. Yeah. And they yeah. said, they understood. They're like, I'm like, no, now we have to lower it. And she was like, whatever, you, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, you know, no Not problem. everybody gets it. I mean, of course. Yeah. It's like the one that came with the, yes. the, the fake bag on accident. Well, right, you know, right. They're taking pictures real quick and they just want to send the, you know, exactly. they just want to, yeah. Well, then again, with, 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 with her side of it being more trusted, the good thing is at least she's not looking to reduce the price down because it's going to kick her and, and exactly. value yeah. down. Yeah. So no, right. she's still telling you what it's supposed to be. To, she's to, just yeah. being fair. Fair right. to, to be able to sell. Fair it. price. You sell your fair yeah. price. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and obviously with this business, there is fees that the right. person selling is going to incur. Right. Right. And that varies. So when they talk yes. to you, you guys can handle and work on that we because there's that, a yeah. variance on what your fees would be. It's not yes. just standard. It's, it's based exactly. on product to product, exactly. case by case. So exactly. talking about the fee. Yeah. And your name is, the, the name of the company is Christina's Consignments. Yes. Explain to people that don't know what consignments okay. means. Yeah, so when you bring me a bag, um, what happens is, so I, when when I sell your bag, then you receive the, you know, however, the portion of, the your, portion of yeah. your, so I do take a commission, mm -hmm. like I, like you said, yeah. it depends on, you know, bag to bag, yep. literally. Um, So many different things come into play yep. on the bag, like is it rare, is it, you can't, you know, mm -hmm. is it vintage? Is it brand new that's still out there and you've used it once? Is it new with tags? Is it pre-owned and you've had it for 20 years? And how, what's the resale value? Mm -hmm. Like, so, so many things come into play. Um, so the commission fee does Varies. Yeah, vary. Fine. And, and that's good. Does it work pretty well for you? Yes. Because it's non-traditional what you're yes, doing. Yes, it is. Traditional is usually you have a flat it set is. rate. So that's and, okay. And, and yes. the thing is, you're, me as the customer, before I give you my bag, I'm going to know what the commission is. So yep. it's not... You will. Yeah, no you hidden, will. You'll know it ahead of time. We're in agreement. Right, it's yep. an agreement. Yeah. I do not, and I don't lower a bag unless I talk to you. Yep. I might ask, text you, we've had an offer, you know, and if you they sell that. for this... You did that with yeah. me. Yeah, if yeah. I sell it for this, this is how much you would get. Are you good with that? Yep. And they, we're in agreement. I don't yep. just say, oh, here's your money. I sold yeah. it for this. And right, you, right. even though you thought you were getting this, I've never, yep. I don't. I would never right. do that. Yep. So, yeah. So they come in, then they do that and take care of it and then get set with you. Mm -hmm. How many days are they able to leave it in your shop? Is there like a time frame, like a 30 day, I 60 mean, I day? I should have one, but honestly, <laughs> I don't. I haven't I haven't given anyone's things really back yet unless I decided we're not, I'm not selling that anymore. Mm -hmm. But if, every, if priced right, everything will sell. Right. Yeah. So if it's been sitting, that means it's priced high and we, yeah. we need to lower it. So I would call you and say it's been sitting here for a little while. What do you some want me people to do? forget at times, like, oh shit, I um, had my bag with you. Yes, you know, no. I did. Yes, yeah, I yeah, know. When you find, when you gave me the money, I'm like, what the heck is this? Yeah. And then you, I, and then yeah, you get my yeah, point, yeah. right? You're gonna. Plus, drop I was it. drinking heavily. It was at Johnny Kellogg's Christmas and Johnny and Layla Kellogg's right. Christmas party. Right. I right. fell asleep, by the way. I didn't make it. That <laughs> I passed out. So um, Miss DJ Savio, I know baby. DJ Savio. It was, was, fun. It was a fun party. I saw that. I saw that. It was a really nice party. So so with um with like time frame and stuff like that. Um, it, it seems like it almost like you're saying it, it, it could be a good thing for you. The reason I'm just bringing this is because your rotation, you want your rotation. So right. when I come see you, if I do come to your shop, I do want to see a different bag, you know, on that, in that position. There bag. are. Yeah. <laughs> it's constant. Yeah, yeah, but you get what I'm saying? Like the yeah, flow yeah, of, of it, like, you Nothing's know. stale in there. It's that's not, what I'm saying to you because sooner or later, if you, if you shop with her enough, you're going to see that multiple times saying that's not moving. And, so it's like, uh, and for a few different, like if I had someone posting it in another platform, see like, mm -hmm. so like, like, it comes back to like getting someone else to maybe help me put them in other platforms. Yeah, like sure. I'm putting them here and here and here and they could also go here, here and here. Yeah. So it's, it's not necessarily that your bag is not selling. It's, it's the, we could do more. We yep. need, I could do and I am going to. Mm -hmm. And so everything will and should sell if priced right. And yep. there's so many platforms you can use besides like my own group. Like I have my own selling group, Christina's Consignments. I have a Facebook page. Yep. I have an Instagram page for it. I think we follow um, you. We see, it all, yes. Yes. We see yes. it all the time. But I also post on other platforms. Mm -hmm. And there's even other platforms that I could use. So, yeah, for sure. But they take fees. So yeah. I have to decide like, 
you know, you might have to raise the, the bag right. a little bit or right. the item a little bit. I like, like, Marketplace um, through Facebook. Yeah, I, use, it's just, yeah, I it's, like that, too. Yeah, it's like a Craigslist, yeah. but yeah. more safe yeah. Yeah. because of the fact that you're you're able to check profiles yeah. and, yes. and see how long people have been on for. Posting, like, on my group and then in, in that group and then other groups, just posting in all those different mm -hmm. places just mm -hmm. takes time. You have to yep. enter all that information in, yep. in all those different places. So that's where getting help will be beneficial because then you mm -hmm. can really put them in all other places and things might sell a little quicker but they do i do have a really good turnaround rate with a lot of the bags so i'm it's not you know i'm i, mean, I am it is something that i'm planning to do sure. when i do get help yep. to be able to do for sure. things a little faster, so i but. i enjoy the day in the town you were so you were fun. my neighbor there mm -hmm. so, so we're able to work together um on that uh, on that day mm -hmm. it was my first time to really get to see how big of um of of of, of inventory you know stuff that right. you carry um i enjoyed it but i did enjoy something not to take away from you yeah i enjoyed meeting your boys yeah mm. okay i enjoyed it for two reasons it's mm. awesome because they were there to help you the whole day yeah so that's a big thing that you know, they got you, fed they got fed at townhouse i saw they yeah. did they, <laughs> they had did. a nice lunch they had a nice they lunch, yeah. a good lunch. That they was did fun. but but they're, they're they're good boys you know they they're, they're stuck Thank around you. they gave you hands in on that day too but it's the conversation that I had with them, with the two, with the with your two boys, um, with the two of them at the end of the event, because yeah. we got to talking, and I, and I said, you, "You do shoes," mm -hmm. and one of their eyes lit up oh, like geez. shoes. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez! You know, and I looked shoes. down at their feet, and I understood yeah. why the eyes lit yeah, up. You know, they so love shoes. so let's. I think let's, uh, Benny or Jake ruined their Yeezys that day. Um, ben spilled ben a red slushy, yep. yep. <laughs> ice that snow cone, yep. all on his brand new like Yeezys. Yep. But he got them out. Yeah. He cleaned it at home. He yep. bought whatever he needed to do to clean it, and they're clean. He they, knows the about red's them. gone. Yeah. Yep. So, so we got we got to chopping it up about shoes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then we found the love for one another because yeah. yeah. it's like we buy and sell shoes. Yeah. And I was like. I do too, yeah. man. You should see. Look at my stock. Yeah. Wow. So they're uh -huh. somewhat following in your footsteps. They help me sometimes. Like right. I tell them, I'm like, okay, I have someone that wants um, Yeezys in a size 12. So they'll Sam or size. Ben or Jake, they'll look them up for me and they'll find me. Because like when I'm doing so many other things, I'm like, okay, yep. you do this. Yep. Like you find, you know, and so we'll find some shoes and I'll text my clients and I'll say, okay, sure. I, so cool. I can find you, you know, this good. pair and this pair. So yeah, good for them. Yeah. At least they're they're working their yeah. way. They're they're working for a goal because it's yeah. either like you're fine. Listen. This stuff is one thing because you can walk in and you can buy these purses and you do your thing. Yeah, shoes are a mission. Oh yeah, okay. It's a mission. You, you, your, your boys are probably up six a.m. on Saturdays, probably earlier someday. It all depends mm -hmm. if it's overseas hitting us up. Like we had Shane on here too, and it's yes. awesome seeing these. Shane kids. Manna. Yep, Shane Manna. It's awesome. Adorable. Adorable. Yep. yep. Sugar. yep. Sugar. So, Love him. so it's awesome seeing them do this that they have that avenue yeah. and mm -hmm. they have That's a good. platform to be able to sell on with safety. Yes. Right. Absolutely. That's the thing is the safety net to not always have to meet people and go through this so it's, it's scary. awesome we don't do yeah yeah shout yeah. out to your boys then we yes. definitely want to give a shout out to them so them. good okay. for them and so Are sam they... is on the varsity he is on the varsity right now he's playing varsity hockey varsity and he will play varsity golf wow good. um at brother rice at brother rice we're going up good. north this weekend to houghton for he has um some golf i mean Are, some are hockey. him and ryan friends at all Sarafa? yeah oh yeah okay, okay. good isn't that awesome putting keeping these guys all together oh yeah yeah so nice yeah yeah and sam is what so. He's a junior. A oh, junior, wow. One more year. Jeez, time flies. Yeah. This year I get to go on the Brother Ice senior trip because it's different. So my nephew is like, come on with us. Oh, uh, no shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Marianne, all of them are going. But yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just That's I'll go nice. ahead. Yeah, Where just are they going, fun. you know? Um, uh, I think Playa or, or Revere, uh, Maya Revere. Is that yeah, my saying that right? I, I think know. so. I yep, think, yep. Marianne's handling different. all that, so okay. whatever it is. But it's awesome because you guys are, I'm sure you're going to do it next year, senior year. It will next year, yeah. We'll see right. what's going to happen, yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's changed, you. right? 18, yeah, like, think sure, about yeah. it. We used to have uh, 17 uh -huh. years old. We're not we used to go on our own, yeah. 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 But now yeah. the parents all go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the parents yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. And then they let, they let the kids do whatever they want. Yeah, they're, at least they're there. They're there for the security. Of course. You have to be. In this day and age, you have to be. Especially overseas. Especially overseas. I mean, yeah. It's scary. Anywhere out of the country. Yeah. So who's um, some of the support that helps you? You want to give a shout out to anybody like that gives the best support or some people so, that besides the boys that um, give you hands on? So my mom helps me when I need her. Like, so when I was doing the Lulu at first, she would come and hang everything for me. <laughs> cool. I call her. I'm like, mom, we have four bags. Can you come help me hang? So she would come help me hang. She'll come with me if I do an event and just to sit, just to be with me. Like she and just likes to come. Niran Habu. 
Nice. So she'll you go, come with Iran. me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You go. She'll come and just, you know, just to be another baddie with mm -hmm. me. Even mm -hmm. if I, because I don't really like, sometimes I feel bad. I'm like, mom, you don't know. She's like, nope, I'm coming. I'm going to yeah. come with you. Well, it's you good know, to have an extra, extra, yeah. extra set yeah. of eyes. Well, so I'm sure yeah. she's got a little time. You know, they yeah. get bored. Listen, oh, my God. They like, yeah. Because they're all like grown. The kids are at school. Yeah. You know, the grandkids mm -hmm. are at school. So they, they want to do stuff. And that's awesome. They do. Yeah, encourage her. Yeah. Why not? Jake comes and helps me when I do shows. Like, in, and I saw my kids too. Like, they'll help me like pack up my car, unpack it. Like, whenever I need stuff done at my shop, Junior will come help me, like, build me like stuff. So, like, you know, whenever I need everybody help, pitches everybody in, which helps is nice. me. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Are you um any particular events or shows coming that you want to uh, mention or um, anything? That, Valentine's Day's coming. Yeah, but well, Valentine's, Valentine's Day, yeah. so they can reach out to you so, for that. For yeah, sure. to buy or sell. So you know, Christmas was just here, and it's really nice. It's really nice. So so buying pre-owned, so I carry pre-owned and new with tags. So people okay. sell, you know, bags that they've used or some people bought, ba buy bags and they never think they're going to use them and they love yeah. them and they never use them. And so sure. a lot of things I get are also new with tags. So shopping, you know, pre-owned or shopping at my kids is very, is smart shopping because sure. yeah. honestly this bag, you know, if I sell it for, I don't know, eight ninety five and it retails 1400 Three months later, it looks just like that. So you're saving right. seven hundred dollars for a bag wow. that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know, in three months it's gonna look like that. And a lot of my pre-owned are like new. So I only, I mean, the things people give me are really in amazing condition. And Beautiful. if not, if they're priced accordingly, so sure. they're either low because they're not in great condition, mm -hmm. or they're, you know, priced at the current resale value because they're in like new condition. So it really is smart shopping if yeah. you're gonna shop, and it's smart if you, you know, have an item that you're not using and you want to sell it. So you'll um, take something that's not even in, in, in that, it's not in great shape, I will. but nothing that's because someone will obviously. buy it. Someone yeah. will buy someone a Louis Vuitton right. bag that has ripped corners. Yeah. That you're selling for you know a quarter of the price instead of wow. the typical resale. They that's will. Great. They're happy. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So all condition sells, old, new, it all sells mm -hmm. if priced. You and know. And so we correctly. we shouted out your mom and, and the kids and yeah. Sam, and then we came back to business again. Well, what about your sister? <gasps> My sister, yeah. She lives in Texas. She's an artist. Mm -hmm. wow. She should come on here one day. She um, she paints like abstract and she does a lot of icon uh -huh. really? work. Um, I've seen where, some can some, where can Beautiful. we see some of it? Like if anybody she wants to She has a her website. Up. I can send it to you. Habu yeah. Art. I want to say dot com. Yeah. Um. You can you can buy. She has. I know like a lot of the arts on like mugs and jewelry. So you can buy some of her things mm -hmm. too. Um, she does really amazing. I mean, I can't even like draw like a stick figure like in her stuff. Is, <laughs> and when did she move I, out I to Texas? Even. Um, four years ago. Oh, five yeah. years ago. Yeah. Good for her. She like she lives in Austin. She loving it. She likes it there. Yeah. It's a creative town there. Yeah, she likes yeah. it. Yeah. Good for her. God bless yeah. her. Good for her. Yeah. So, is there anything that we may have skipped on, or anything that we didn't touch that we'd like to uh, that you'd like to share? You have to share to our viewers. Oh, I think um, you covered everything. Yeah, so if anyone what? needs anything, um, I know yeah. I gave you my information. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll, it'll yeah, be we'll all, be, all, it's all yeah. in the description. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll post it. We'll, you will flash your number or whatever whatever they need to do. We already covered Just the process. Just a thought to, the, to them if they want to know. Are you available Monday through Saturday at, at your at your um, office or is this? By appointment. By, yeah, by, like by appointment and Sunday, I will make it work. Saturday, Sunday, whatever. Like if I, you know, I honestly like will have people meet me at my son's hockey game. I will have people meet me <laughs> if we're like at brunch. You're the a car line. You're up. a hostler. The car I, line. Honestly, like I, there's <laughs> yeah. no like, oh, you know, I will. I won't change, like, if, whatever I need to do with my family, I still do it, and people, if they need to come pick something up, they want to come to my shop, like, I'll work around my day, like, I know what we're doing, and I'll say, if there's, like, an hour, I'll literally run in for an hour, sometimes when I'm subbing, well, I will literally, is, like, go in the middle of the day yeah, for an hour. Is, school is two miles away, and your yeah, home is, like, a mile and a half away. Yeah, and my shop's right in the middle. Right in the middle, yeah. I can literally, if I have, like, a prep and a lunch back-to-back, -back, I yeah. can meet people during that, so I always, I always make it work, Good. so I'm accommodating. I work with people on, you know, their bags that they want to sell. So, yeah. so now that now that you've gone through this and you've done it all and you've you you, you were so nervous before. Well, oh, it, I was nervous, but yeah. of course it ended up being of course. fine. Like I knew it would be, but I yeah. just you know so so now, I don't like being doing. like the center. Well, you know, because you, like you know so much about that. that. So with all of our guests, when they mm -hmm. when they say that they're nervous, we're asking them about themselves and about their business right. two topics that they're so deeply right. no, knowledgeable, knowledgeable should, about yeah. so yeah so we close out shows with uh, a, a question what does it mean to you to be Chaldean yeah. hmm. um, to be Chaldean is just to be faithful and when I think of Chaldean I just think of close and mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. and just very loving and supportive 
That's what I think of when I think of Kaldian. Yeah. yeah. That's a like you guys. Like this Yay. is so support. Like really, this <laughs> show that you guys do is so amazing and supportive community and showcasing right. everyone in our community like you guys are amazing like that's Thank amazing you. what we you do we really. appreciate that we appreciate that well we hope we have on um, january 29th we have an event over at Zao June. Yep, yeah we'd like you to come make sure you have either your if you have t-shirts that you that you have that's with your information we're gonna or have gift or bags yeah. yeah we're gonna have gift yep. bags and we're gonna I'm stuff gonna the gift bags we'll with whatever yeah. uh i'm gonna be there it's Zao June. delicious we love Zao June. yay yep we had it the other day and he loves sushi we always go there we always go there cool awesome Benny, Sammy, Jake. Yep. Love you guys. Oh, it's awesome. We thank you for being on the show. Thank yep. you for We thank me. what you're doing for the community itself, yep. servicing it and taking care of it, and also building a strong name and reputation with what Absolutely. you're doing. So that's good because you're building credibility with not just yourself, you. but as a community. Very, very proud of you. We love you guys. So proud of you. We love you too. So we are uh, signing off now. Uh, hopefully we'll see all of you off at the uh, next uh, event, which will be at Zao June. Just don't forget to subscribe if you can. We're almost there. I mean, we're uh, doing pretty well, so just continue the, uh, the, the help that you guys are giving us. Signing off, Anthony, Christina, consignments. We'll see you all next week. See you. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Thank you.